Scott, it seemed like an eternity since we last had a press conference. No game for the New Saints last week, of course. How important is it for the players to have that break? Yeah, very important because uh, you can't keep going um, over 11 months of the season. You just, you'll have burnout. Um, your minds become tired, not just your bodies, but you, you know, your minds become tired and that's when, obviously, problems occur because of complacency and things like that against um, you know teams that ideally we should be we should be winning uh, mistakes happen and um, everyone's human so I think uh, a decent break away from the training ground and away from the club and then back to it today um, has, has, has been imperative for us and for a lot of people they look at footballers and say they should be able to play a couple of games a week but as you say Scott it is an 11 month season for the New Saints the Welsh Cup final ends the first weekend in May we're back in training in June and it's not just the games but it's the training the gym work the intensity yeah the you know the travel as well you know if you look at six uh, six ties in Europe and the traveling and pre-season we go to Portugal we we, we got to Scotland to play. It's you know it's it's constant. It's a uh, it's a heavy workload. So when we can give them time off, we do, and uh, they've earned the time off. Uh, weekends off, they're earned. Um, you know, if, if you have a tricky spell and you and you're losing games, you're not doing yourself justice, and you're not uh, hitting the benchmark that you've that you've set. Um, you don't get time off. You don't get these these perks. And um, we all know that you know winning the league is number one, uh, and cup competitions come after it. So. Uh, we'll continue in, in that form um, of how we've done it and if they continue to do well they'll get more time off and, and, and that's the way we've been doing it. And while the players were away from the park hall and their minds were on other things, what about the manager? What were you up to? Yeah, a little bit of time off, downtime. Um, you never really um, switch off from football. Um, you know, one of the main things I'm thinking about is, is January and, and where we need to strengthen. So. Um, I've been doing a little bit of homework on that and making sure that players that we have been looking at um, with, uh, with John who's the head of recruitment, you know, we've, been, uh, we've been in touch and, and looking at um, strengthening certain areas of the, of the team and the, and the club. So yeah, you never fully switch off but manage to get a little bit of uh, time off. And as we said at the start, two weeks without a game for the New Saints from the time we finish the last one till we start uh, our next game on Saturday. Um, but of course, in that time, other clubs have played and the New Saints now sits in third place, but with a game in hand, just one point off the top potentially. That's a far better position to be in than we were a couple of months ago. Of course, yeah, you know, you look at a uh, game on Saturday and then uh, Tuesday after we uh, we followed up with with Carmarthen at home as well, so perfect um, sort of period to to play your games, get get a Saturday, Tuesday, uh, Saturday in in the next few weeks, um, and and like you say, you know there's an opportunity there to if you do win your game in hand to, to be one point off, which is uh, which is an excellent position. And it's not our game in hand this Saturday, but it is Airbus UK Broughton on the road. They're third from the bottom. They have three wins from 15 games. They're the joint lowest goal scorers with Newtown. Found the net just 15 times this season so far in the league. But nevertheless, they will still be looking at some point to push on. And with TNS, as we know, a scalp, that will be an incentive for them. Yeah, obviously, you know, <clears throat> they they had an excellent season last season, coming up into the league again, and and uh, you know we're, we're probably the, by far the, the standout team in that league. So it's a it's a step up. The Welsh Premier League is a step up from the leagues below. So you know they they, they may have found it a little bit tough, but they've got some excellent players. They've got some uh, some very good young players and some experienced boys that have that have played Welsh Premier. And like you say. If we're not up to it, um, I'm sure they'll want to take three points off us and, and show how good they are. And what will be the New Saints approach to this particular game in terms of tactics, players, going for the strongest squad, the strongest team that's available on the day, all that sort of thing in the mix? Strongest, strongest team that I think is available to win that game will be, will be picked. It's not um, you know, a team that we face in the... In the, in the bottom half of the league, it's, it's nothing like that. You know, we'll give them every respect. You know, we played them here, and you know, they uh, they, they can make it tricky for you. 
they've, they've played at times and I've, I've watched highlights of them and, and they've probably been a little bit unfortunate. Um, and obviously you're saying about the goals that they've scored there, but they've got excellent players in the team. They can, they can score goals and create goals. So, you know, it's not going to be an easy game. So we're not, we're not taking anything lightly. And the new Saints will go into the game as favourites, of course, but that also means that Airbus have nothing to lose. That's right, they're in a position where, like you say, they're third bottom. Um, they might throw caution to the wind, they might try something different and think, well, uh, we're not expected to win, let's go and, let's go and give it a real good go. And I'd say probably uh, that's the way they'll go and, and approach the game. But, you know, like I say, we've, we've, we've played Airbus many times um, over the years. Um, it's, it's a pitch we're used to, 3G pitch, so um, good week of, of uh, training this week, four days of training and we'll be, we'll be ready for it. And finally, Scott, we have come through that uh, awful injury stage and situation that we had a while back. Yeah. So what is the current availability? Yeah, everyone um, is back now training today and tomorrow. I think we'll have everybody back. Um, so that, that becomes a selection headache now, not just um, right who's injured or, or suspended or whatever. So yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to, to have a look at the, uh, you know, the, the training sheet and see all the names back on there.